In January of 2014, I was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer called mesothelioma. So I was devastated. Worried more so for my family, really, than myself. My daughter was driving home in a windy canyon. They went over the side of the, of the cliff. As she was thrown out, she broke her back. She broke it at the T11, and what that did is it broke her spine. So basically at the T11, that means from her belly button all the way down to her toe, she's completely paralyzed. It was around one o'clock in the morning and I was at work. I was actually standing at a table taking an order when the manager came and told me that my house was on fire. I lived in Fairplay, which is a little farming town, about 25 minutes away. By the time I got there, there was nothing left. The whole entire house was completely four bedrooms on the ground. There was fire trucks everywhere, but there was nothing left. My son, Marty, was killed in a hit and run. He was amazing. He wanted to um, help people. He actually, at the time of his death, he was helping a friend's grandmother every day. She had broken her leg and he was going there every day and making her meals for her and taking her to the doctor's appointments. And that's what he really um, connected with. He really wanted to do that. Without the help of my company that I'm very proud to be with, I don't know where I would be. And it's my job now to tell people how important this fund is. And that power of we, that each person, if everyone just donated a dollar a paycheck, how much money we would have in this fund to help people. Anyone who has the means to give to a fund, this is something that is going to impact real families, real lives, in a way that you can't even understand until you need it. It's amazing when your company can stop and really just be there for you. It doesn't take much. A dollar out of your paycheck is nothing. The Power Fund might need to be there for you one day.